Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to another very exciting behind the scenes video where I'm gonna be showing you how I made my new main channel video. If you haven't seen it yet, please go watch that and then come back and watch the behind the scenes. You know the drill by now. So today we're gonna to be making some cool things for the video, but first we need to go to the shops and get some supplies. Let's do this. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna go pick up some supplies for this video and what am I doing in the car? I don't need to drive. I've learned this new technique. Watch this, watch this. Achoo! Travel by sneeze. I'm still working on it, but I'm at the art shop, so I'm gonna go get some supplies. Also, my car smells fantastic. <sighs> All right, I have got various materials from the art shop, such as gold paint, a skull mask, and other things. Okay, I now need to go buy a torch, something beefy and bright. Let's go have a look. Achoo! Oh, man. This is a very economical way to travel, but damn, it gets my sinuses worked up. All right, you wait here and keep the engine running. By engine, I mean my nose. Classic. All right, I am back. I've got a torch. We're good to go. All right, now I just need to get us home. And I think, oh man. Oh, this is a big one. Ah, ah, I see you! Okay, I've got my supplies and I now need to make a furball monster and an eye patch. This should be interesting. Double shirt. So whilst the skull dries, let's take a look at that eye patch. Okay, so I couldn't decide if I wanted to do a circular eye patch or a heart-shaped eye patch. I think heart could be more interesting. I thought that rather than just buying an eye patch, I could get some ribbon and patch together something. Hey, patch together. Can't top that. You know what? I think a heart might just be the way to go. So the idea is this weird creature wearing the skull mask has taken my eye ripped it out from my socket, and I'm hiding it with this heart-shaped eye patch. Can you believe it? I went for gold to make me look like some kind of a space pirate or something cool like that. Got a little Jack Howard quiff. That is one ugly little creature. Okay, so that's my main three components prepared. The creature, the torch, and the eye patch. I have changed, as you can see, because I stopped making things for a little bit and did some filming. I thought if I do some filming today, that would help me later on in the week. So I filmed the intro to the video. I tested the grading out a little bit and it looks super crazy. Super crazy. But next, I have to make a darkness cannon. The hell does a darkness cannon look like? All right. Just got a package, which is fun. That's not for this video, but this is. So, what is this exactly? LED mood lights. So in the video, there is this bit with the stars. Ah. Oh, okay, that's very cool. So this is for the bit in the video where the stars all come to visit. I bought six of them. I bought six of them. Oh shit. Here's 
is what I'm thinking for the darkness cap. <laughs> Kind of a bazooka, but wrapped in this, I'm gonna match my jacket. surprisingly well. Interestingly as well, the cellophane kind of does make it look really dark inside because it's reflecting everything else. So it does just look like infinite darkness inside, which is exactly what I wanted. Crazy. <sighs> all right. Okay, I finished making all my physical props, which means I can finish shooting tomorrow. And then the last thing I need to do is figure out the projection part. I've already done a projection test. Probably gonna remake what I did there, but better. And then once I've done that, I just have to shoot and then I'm done. Well, I am tired, very tired. But thank you very much for watching this behind the scenes. I hope it was very insightful. If you haven't seen the main video, please go watch that. If you have seen it, maybe go watch it again. Cool. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. See you in the next one.